welcome back to consecutive day 850 of a diary of a rumpreneur please do give this a subscribe and a share as it is a part of a fundraiser to save the lives of children um, by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon all the information is in the link in the comments below thank you for your support as always and let's get started So, consecutive day 850 of a diary of a rumpreneur, and um, yeah, 850 days, another big milestone. Uh, every 50 day chunk is a milestone in my eyes. And uh, interestingly, these last 50 days have gone pretty quick. Um, I remember the 800th day being on my last day in Gran Canaria on my family holiday in the summer, but my word, how the weather conditions change. In 50 days, I was running in crazy heat in, in uh, San Augustine in Gran Canaria to running back at home um, in Cambridgeshire and it is cold and windy, very autumnal. Um, I think it's only a matter of days before the shorts will get put away until probably February, March time next year. But um, yeah, so 850 days, um, only three more 50 chunks, 50 day chunks before I hit the magical 1,000 and I'm officially into the four digit category um, so I'm really looking forward to that it's not going to be till I think next February 25th if my memory serves me correctly but uh, yeah fixated on getting to 900 I think as I get to 900 we'll be on the, uh, the the home straight to Christmas then so you just look at these little milestones of difference so when you are doing a running streak looking too far ahead just does not work bite sized chunks is really important I talk about um, I talked about the um, marathon running and you know breaking a marathon into pieces of the pie. I mean, technically, it's eight five-kilometer runs with a couple of couple, couple of kilometers on the home straight. But um, breaking it down into small bite-sized chunks does makes it makes the challenge not seem so vast and so unachievable. Because I've spoke about this before, Ron Hill, who's renowned of having the longest ever running streak. I think he ran for 52 years and 31 days, I think if my memory serves me correctly. But if I get my running streak, if I can I keep running till I'm 90 years of age, I'll beat his streak. Now that is my ultimately <laughs> what I'm going to try and do. Now, the chances of me getting there, I, I'm under no illusion, are extremely slim. But I'll keep going till my body stops me. It started off as running the, 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 the distance of one lap of the world, uh, 4,292 days, so I'm still a long way away from that, but, you know, I break it down into 50 day chunks, and then you just keep chipping away at them, and it just seems more manageable, it doesn't overwhelm you, you don't look too far ahead, but you look just far enough ahead to appreciate where you're going, and um, I think a lot of people, I read a productivity book not long ago called The 12 Week Year, and um, Ultimately, it was breaking things down into quarterly chunks. That's like 90 days, uh, ultimately. Um, but I'm looking at kind of 50 days, so I'm looking at kind of a month and a half chunks, really, six-week chunks. And um, it's good because it keeps me going. And, and I know I've only got three of these 50-day 50, 50 chunks before we'll be approaching spring again <laughs> and the weather will be warming up, which is when this running becomes much more of an enjoyable experience. So... Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to talk to you about today. There's no point going on anything else. It's a big day, 850 days. I will celebrate it today um, because you have to celebrate your wins and this is certainly a win. So uh, any questions or comments, drop me a line. I'll respond to everyone. Do give this a subscribe and a share. It's a part of the fundraiser to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information is in the link in the comments below. Thank you for your support. As always, stay positive, stay happy. and I'll see you again tomorrow.